Then God said unto Elijah, Go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by. And a great and strong wind tore into the mountain uh -huh. and broke the rocks in pieces before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a still, small voice spoke unto him. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and hearing of his word. Oh, gracious Father, we come at this particular time and this particular place. We come now asking your blessing upon this church. Your blessing upon the word that is coming forth. We ask that you hide me behind the cross. So the people won't see me, but they will see you. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in thy sight. My strength and my redeemer. And all of God's people say amen. 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 I'm not intending to hold you long, but that is a word. Mm -hmm. All right. yes. I call it GPS. <laughs> God position system. All right. All right. The scripture that I just read uh, uh, is about a prophet who loved God and lived for God with all his heart. But he allowed fear and anxiety to overcome him. Elijah was hiding in a cave, afraid that the wicked queen Jezebel was going to kill him. Then God spoke to him, Elijah, in a way he wanted to speak to you and me today in a still, small voice. In today's technology, we're talking about the God uh, global position system, which what I hold in my hand, this is a handheld one here. It says, state, put your state, New Jersey in there. In a state. It's consists of base navigation system made up of a network of 24 satellites placed in the orbit by the U.S. Uh, uh, United States Department of Defense. The GPS system Satellite circled the Earth twice a day in, in, in a very precise orbit, transmitting signal information to Earth. The GPS system tell the information, gather the information, and use a tran translation to calculate the user's exact location. When you're using that GPS, that is what is happening in the sky. It's sending information back to it to let you know your exact location. And also will let the police know if you're in, you're in trouble. All right now. It's sent to the GPS uh, a receiver compare the time signal was transmitted by the satellite with the time it was received. The time different tell the GPS system how far away the satellite is. Now this distant measurement from a few more satellites, the receiver can determine the user position displayed on a unit electronic map. Even time that you may, may think you're lost, but somebody know that you're not lost. You're the one that know you, you they say you're lost. God has uh, given us the, uh, uh, a unique way to follow him. And it is also called to also to be identified as a GPS system which some call it God position system. It is clearly presented in the Word of God. Can I get an amen? Amen. Man, you satellites that is in the heaven for direction, but we have God in heavenly places to guide and direct us in all our daily walk through life. Mm -hmm. and, and the Bible has clear and concise instruction, direction for every aspect of life. We don't have to go wrong. All you have to do is read your Bible. All right. God even gave up each of us access to the Holy Spirit to re remind us, to nudge us in the side when we have again to get off track. And believe me, we get off track very quick if we are not rooted and grounded in the Lord. The Bible says, turn right and you turn left. 
-huh. We probably block out that little void that keep telling us to take a U-turn and guess what happened? We find ourselves wandering. Our lives uh, got turned upside down, stuck in bad situations, yes. facing meaningless obstacles, waiting for a train that uh, to pass that never should have been on our route anyway. All right. Mm -hmm. Been a good amen. 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 Sitting around waiting on a train. Shouldn't have even been there anyway. Yeah. But because of we would not listen to that small, still voice, we get on the wrong track. And yes, God can get us back on track, just like the GPS did in your car. The Lord is literally our GPS, and He sees all and knows all and hears all. You don't have to pretend that he don't know what you're talking about. He don't you have to pretend that he don't see what you've done. Mm -hmm. He knows all and he is all and sees all. Yes, he is. Just like the three monkeys that got up there to my and uh, sees and hears all. Uh -huh. There's a path that life will take us on that will require to listen for a very specific direction for the Lord. Turn here. Move here. Move there. Stop here. Uh-huh. And see, we need to follow God's instruction. You don't jump in somebody else's lane when he tells you to move there. Amen. Move here. Sometimes we, we be off the path of the Lord. Places something. Sometimes we want to take our own route. And you know that you need to make a U-turn. Because you have gotten yourself in such a, a, a predicament that you need to make a U-turn. Yes. But because of his mercy, he has already accounted for that mistake that you made this uh -huh. morning. And he will direct you back to on, on pay. Amen. Sometimes we stray away from the direction God must put us completely, read a ride off, but the destination remains the same. Sometimes we stray off the path that he has given us. We are saying that he tells us that we, we should be uh, 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 sitting here and telling people what to do when we don't even follow instruction ourselves. Mm -hmm. The route of the time may be different, but God's goal is still the opening to move forward in the Lord. There's a point in our journey this morning where we need to stay on the interstate. We're talking about that straight and narrow path. The interstate for a couple hundred miles. During that point, those points, God is still there. He's still directing us. It is up to us to believe that God is still with us. When He is ready to turn up, just like your GPS, He will alert you at the right moment. When God is ready to move you to the next part, spot, He will, he will, die, he will let you know. Yes. Don't take it on your own and think God wants me to do this and do that. He wants you to stay right where you're at until you have really been nailed down. Sometimes we are not completely nailed down. Mm -hmm. All right. And see, I'm talking about the GPS. Yet and still, you're not nailed down in order to move to the next point. So you see, God's GPS placed us firmly into his family. Mm -hmm. As his children, God has always had his perfect solution, which is Christ Jesus crucified and resurrected. Through God's plan, all mankind was brought together, Jews and Gentiles, by his blood. Ephesians 3, 4 and 7 said, By reading this, you are able to understand my insight about the mysteries of God. God's plan is indeed ultimate GPS. Mm -hmm. Many have not understood his plan, but God make it clear in the fullness of time and has it in the Bible for all to see. You can't say that you don't know how to follow GPS, God, position, or system. If you read your Bible, you'll be able to follow from the from Genesis all the way to the end. Amen. John 3.16 says, God so loved that he gave his only begotten son. That's whoever believe should not perish, but have everlasting Amen. The voice we hear on our GPS said, calculate route. We can't even change the voice if we like. If we make a mistake, our GPS will state that it is recalculating your route. All right. What a marvelous adventure. 
Yes. As we look at this divine, we can see God. GP is infinitely because there is no only one voice and one route that we take. Amen. It's only Jesus' voice. It's only one route that he wants you to take, and that is to his son. Can I get an amen? amen. There are many turns for the final destination for the believers also fixed. And no, it also affects for those who reject God's plan of salvation. God's revelation of the GPS is through Jesus, his only begotten son. And God's plan has not changed. We are the one has changed. Amen. We have changed. We said things that we don't really believe, uh, that we pretend not to believe, but we say them anyway. The Lord desired that those laws would seek and find him. The ultimate goal of any GPS is to find your way without getting lost. Take that is exactly what God's word and God's heart does. God seeks to find the laws and guide them to him. That is what GPS, God position system, means. He guides you back to him. And the GPS is for you to find you. Don't get lost. We know that this, that is the Holy Spirit. Who is that still small voice that we hear? We hear in the morning time, at night time when we're praying. You hear a small voice. That is the Holy Spirit telling you what direction to go. Move here. Move there. Or stay here. Amen. And see, we have to understand to be able to discern the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, in order to understand what is being said. And that is also called grace. Mm -hmm. You, for you form my inner part. You cover me in my mother's womb. I will praise you, for I am fearful and wonderful made. Models are your work, and that my soul knows very well. My frame was not hidden from you Amen. when I was made in sick and skillfully made in my mother's womb. There are times, amen, when we meet people who change our life. Amen. There are times when we choose to do a, a choose a different route, and we get a miss, we get messed up on that route. We we you know sometimes we listen that that inner voice says, "Don't go there, go here," and see over here if you hadn't went this way, you would ran into a traffic jam, but. The Holy Spirit puts you back on track. When we see things God's way and see that He is directing your life, you can understand that your life is not an accident at all. Amen? Amen. You are not just a, full, a life full of random events. You are not just lucky or unlucky all right. in your life. It is God that is leading you all the way. So when you, when you look at your GPS, when you get in there and plug it in, how do you operate that thing? Amen. And you, you you need to find the switch on the Jeep on uh -huh. a God position of system. And the only way you find that that switch on that GPS is by reading your Bible. Amen. That is your that is the word of God is your switch to turn that GPS on. Mm -hmm. If you remain in me and my word remain in you, ask whatever you ask and it will be done for you. Whatever we ask and receive from him because we keep his commandment and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And this commandment that we should believe on the name of the Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as he gave us commandment to do. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle uh -huh. than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. All right. You, you ask and you do not receive the cause you ask amiss mm -hmm. that you may spend it on your possession. See, we, we, we ask God to do with Jesus Christ to do something for Oh, bless my finances. Bless my, my sick, my help and all of this. And you say, well, Lord, I'm going to come to church next week. I'm going to start coming. If you do these things for me, I'm going to do this for you. But lo and behold, we, we, we change our mind by, I'm well now, you know, uh, 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 I don't have to go. Mm. You know, I don't have to go to church now. I'm well. 
I can wash my car. I can go to the mall. But see, God sees all and He hears all. See, oftentimes we, we have a loud, when we turn this thing on, this GPS God position of, and this small voice speak to us, we have a lot of external noise in our life. From the family members as well as from your, 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 your relationship with your husband or wife, what it may be, uh, that just noise around. We need to know how to turn that noise down too mm -hmm. in order to hear the word of God. Right. Let that still voice speak to you. Turn all that other noise down. You don't need that other noise. You only need to hear that voice that is speaking to you in a still small yes. voice. God has all gave us all free will to do what we want. In our program, find his, his will is our life. Yes. His will is our life. Yes. The Holy Spirit will continue to place opportunity events and people along each of our paths. It to get what get us where we need to be. But if we sit by the side of the road, waiting for our destiny to come to us, nothing will happen. We can sit in the on these pews all day long, every Sunday, every every time the doors open. If you don't make a move to do anything for the Lord, nothing is gonna happen. Amen. You need to make a move. It's important to get right the right direction from God as for the plan He has for you. As the chest of the cat said to Alice in one of the lines, if you don't know where you are going, an inner road would take you there. That's what he said. <laughs> Jesus said, For I know the plan I have for you, uh -huh. said the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, mm -hmm. to give you future and a hope. In those days when you pray, I will listen. If you look for me wholehearted, you will find me. That's what Jesus is saying to somebody this morning. We all, you know, we look at that that, uh, that story about the little engine that could. Mm -hmm. It says that we admire that story and then find ourselves believe that the commitment and the persistence that that little train had. We should be the same way. He didn't give up. But sometimes we give up and, and sit by the roadside, waiting on something to come our way. Instead of getting up and listening to the still small voice that's telling you to turn here, go there, move here. See, we need to listen to that still small voice. Stop listening to the external noise that is surrounding us. God says uh, uh, the gateway to life is very narrow. Mm -hmm. And the road is difficult. Yes. Only a few will ever find it. Right. You need that heaven the GPS God position of uh, system that God wants to give you. Begin by asking him for it today. Allow him to help you to use it. He says, trust in the Lord, lean not to your own understanding. Yes, yes. In all thy ways are not a chance. And he shall direct your path. Oh, yeah. As Jesus was riding into Jerusalem during the last hours of his life when he suffered the more. He never, he never was lost. He knew what was happening and why. And he knew exactly what to do in the midst of the confusion surrounding him. Jesus was betrayed by his close friend, mm -hmm. falsely arrested, accused, and condemned, beaten until almost dead. Mm -hmm. Crucified on an old rugged cross. Mm -hmm. He died alone and deserted by most of his father. Yet he was never alone. They placed him in a borrowed tomb. Stayed there three days. But on the third day, Jesus got up with all yes. power yes. in his hands. Yes. Aren't you glad he didn't stay? Yes. Yes. You need to follow Jesus' position of sister. Mm -hmm. Don't follow the GPS when you're walking. Amen. You, you'll still get lost walking. But you, if you have one of these, you can walk and find your way. But God and the Holy Spirit is your guide when you're out here. Amen. Don't get lost. Don't get lost. 
Don't pretend that you know something that you don't know. Come on, Neil. Come on, talk. Come on, say that. Say that. Don't pretend that you, 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 you're you on the right track. He heard your cry. No, he didn't hear your cry. Or you didn't cry out to him. You cried out to your finance. You cried out to your bank. You cried out to your car. You cried out to your church. When you cry out to the Lord, he will answer you. It will come as a still, small voice. But you got to be in line. You got to be in, in sync with Him in order to hear that. Amen. Don't but don't don't let Satan step back here, sitting on this show over here, telling you, you got time. Then mm. you got the angel and said, "You don't have that kind of time." Amen. Follow your direction of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May we stand? The doors of the church is open. Like I said this morning, and I always will say that because that that is that was a, a sermon in a hand that we worry about. We don't worry about the cross like we used to. We used to sing, the old people used to sing about the cross. It brought tears to the eye. They knew who hung on that cross. All right. Amen. And he did it for us. He said that he nailed our sin. He nailed our sorrow. He nailed our burden. He nailed all of these things to the cross. Just for little old me. So I would not have to face it another day. When you're nailed to the cross, you can't turn around. Amen. You are committed. When you follow God's GPS system, you won't go astray. But if you don't follow, you're going to have to make a U-turn. And sometimes that U-turn don't lead you the right way. Will there be one Tired of them. sitting at a train station that a train is not coming. Would that be one? You may be seen.
recalculating your direction. Minds tell me that all the time. Because <laughs> I want to do what I want to do, go where I want to go, and they tell me, recalculating your route. <laughs> but the first thing about it, God, Chief, is bring you back to the same point you started. <laughs> over here, but he's going to bring you back. He may bring it back through sickness, but he's going to bring you back to that point. Let the church say amen. amen. I didn't stay up here long. Prepare yourself to be dismissed. If all hearts and minds are clear, let's prepare ourselves to go home. Or wherever we need to go. go home but you're leaving here. Yeah, I know that's right. <laughs> and the grace of God. Sweet communion of the Holy Spirit. In the love of Jesus. Rest rule and abide. Get forth. Dying forevermore. And all of God's people say, Amen. Amen. Amen.